what is the cache partition and why it's important to delete it from time to time, especially when you're updating your phone from one firmware or version to another. Specifically right now, guys, 196.1.1 has been released for the S24 series and is going to knock very soon on the door for all the S3 series owners, hopefully even by the end of this month. I decided to do this quick video to just for show you what the hell is this and then of course hands on how do we delete it. I do believe this is important to understand why and what before I show you how. So what do we mean by wiping the cache part edition? So a lot of the times we're talking about partitions and cache, people might think Windows, Linux or something else, but Android phones are just mini computers. They also have an operating system with different partitions. I'm not gonna go into much detail. So wiping the cache partition can help you with several things. But first things first, what the hell is a cache partition? So it's inside your phone, as we can read here, it's a dedicated section where your phone holds temporary data that is generated by many thousands of the applications that you use and of course also by the OS or the operating system. In our case, that's Android with one UI on top of it. This temporary data includes various files and bits of information that can help us in the smooth functioning of the device and the application. But when it gets too much, it might exactly as well do the opposite. As seen in this article, the cache partition can accumulate unnecessary files or even corrupted data, which might actually, like I told you, do quite the opposite. Meaning worse battery, meaning lags, meaning stutters. So ideally, if you're a regular user, don't do this, but if you still wanna do this, you can follow this short guide. Now I'm gonna show you guys how you can use your phone, a cable, and sadly also a PC, to wipe your cache partition. And remember, after wiping the cache partition on Samsung phones, it's good to run also the good guardians and use the Galaxy App Booster. Let me show you how it's done. And as I told you, we are going to require three things. So first thing is your beloved and favorite Samsung Galaxy phone, then a PC, and third thing, a USB-C cable connected to your PC. Don't ask me why a PC, all right? Step number two, guys, is we need to power off the phone. Okay, let's do this from here. Click power off. Wait until the phone is fully powered off. It's going to nicely vibrate in your hand one more time, another time, and then guys, you should hook up your phone to the PC via the cable, but don't do anything. Just wait, because the phone is going to boot now in a chargeable mode. So yeah, this is a fancy way of saying that the phone will start charging right now. Don't just do anything. Wait until you see the charging really has started, like in this case. And now what we need to do, guys, take your left hand or right hand, press the volume up on the volume rocker and the power button. Keep pressing them together. The phone will boot, all right, keep pressing. The moment you see the Samsung Galaxy logo, you can release the power button and then just, yeah, well, you're already here. And now, guys, we're already there. This is the recovery menu. Now, let me zoom up here because this is gonna get very important because here, you know, we have also some things that are quite dangerous. For example, if I, instead of the cache partition, wipe my data, then yeah, all my nice photos and videos will go away. So make sure to only select wipe cache partition. This is very important. So make sure that you really selected wipe cache partition. How do you activate it? All right, just press the power button. Then you're gonna get a yes or no menu. The first answer is no. How do we navigate? Well, of course, using the volume rocker. So just go down to yes and confirm with the power button. And voila, your cache partition now has been deleted. You can safely unhook the phone and just reboot it to the normal state of operation. The first menu says reboot system now, select it, confirm again with the power button. Just please don't do anything else from this recovery menu. This is a huge disclaimer, right? If you decide to wipe your cache partition, please only do that, don't do anything else. And remember, after you boot up the phone, download Good Guardians if you don't have it and start the Galaxy App Booster. I'm gonna show you how that works. Go inside the app drawer, search for Good Guardians. If you don't have it, download it. You can freely download it from the Samsung store. If not, sideload it via an APK. Install the Galaxy App Booster if you 
don't have it and then just let it run it will give you the option to optimize only the applications you use in the past 30 days but no don't check this optimize all your apps you might ask yourself why this video now well one ui 6.1.1 has just been released for s24 ultra you can check my video and also the comparison on the animations versus the S23 Ultra. And again, I don't usually do this between all the updates because we're getting updates every now and then, but this is a big update, 3000 megabytes. So this time I wanna do this to really be able to give you my honest feedback about battery performance, which I'll have in a few more days. Not of course today, not of course tomorrow. I need time to properly assess what they changed and let's hope they change it for better. Thank you so much for watching guys, if you like videos like this, don't forget to check the previous ones, stay safe, VST over, bye.